Hi there guys, it's Mike from the Jessup's Academy and I'm joined today by Dave from Canon and hey. you've got some new cameras to show me. I have got two new SLRs to let you have a look at. So we've got the EOS 4000D and the EOS 2000D. So we have two new uh, DSLRs here, uh, the 4000D and the 2000D. Correct, yeah. Just where do these go in the lineup? Okay, well, I think these are sitting around where the 1300D used to sit. Okay. Um, so the, um, the 2000 is basically a direct replacement for the 1300D. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a very, very similar camera in the way that it works. Lovely, simple to use. I've okay. um, got all the kind of control on here, uh, Wi-Fi, NFC, this kind of thing. Okay. Um, the main thing that we've upgraded with this one is the sensor inside it. So we've okay. got a 24.1 million pixel sensor. So our latest right. generation. So the image quality from this, the low light capability would be fantastic. Cool. Now, what's really interesting is we've brought this camera in, which okay. is the 4000. So this is sitting below the um, 2000 right. and sitting below where the 1300D was sitting. So that's quite an interesting thing for us to do because we've okay. never done that. Yeah, we've it's, never kind done of like, that. it's kind of like an entry entry level. Yeah, I mean, okay, the, the idea for us on this one is what we want to do, we want to attract more people into photography. Always um, there's more people shooting than ever before, using mm -hmm. lots of different devices, and we want to make these cameras um, as accessible as possible for people. So what we've done is we've decided to bring out this model, which is super, super simple to mm -hmm. use. You've still got all the manual control on there. You've still got yep. things like so aperture yeah, priority, yeah. shutter priority, fully manual. So yep. those kind of things to get you started in photography. Um, but we wanted to create this to make it, um, I suppose, more, more affordable for people and get people to um, enjoy SLR photography. Okay, so we'll have a look at this one um, first. So I'll take the 2000, just pop that over there from there. So um, walk, walk me through, because um, it's slightly different on the back here. It's looking... Uh, a little bit different to what I'm used to on the Canons. Yeah, well, you're probably used to the Canons higher up in our lineup. So, um, yeah, they're... <laughs> these are, <laughs> I <don't> think so. <laughs> um, so what we've got here is we've got a really lovely layout to get you started. So mm -hmm. it's super simple to use. So you've got things like the ISO button on here. You've got the all change order focus modes. You've got the um, drive modes and you've got the white balance. And it's all there on mm -hmm. these buttons to do. So very, very quick and easy. You've got a 2.7 inch screen here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and you've got the, the optical viewfinder as well. Now. What we really like people to experience, what we want people to experience is the, the benefits of an optical viewfinder. Mm -hmm. And we have digital viewfinders in our lineup and they're there if people want to use them, that's yep. not a problem. But optical viewfinders, I personally still think, are absolutely lovely to use because mm -hmm. what you're seeing is what you're getting. Yeah. Um, so it's really lovely. It gives you a different kind of connection, I think, to your subject as well. So it's, um, it's great for people to be able to start out for a product yep. like this. Slightly um, different on the... Uh Control dial here, I'm noticing. Um, no green box. No, the green, the, the green square mode is gone. Um, well, it hasn't, um, just the color is gone. To okay. make this more, I suppose, an affordable type of camera, uh, we've cut back on a few things on here. And one of them is being the colors on the letter type, which might seem yeah. like a silly thing, um, but it is something that does help to make these cameras more yeah. affordable. So it is still on there. We've still got the fully automatic mm -hmm. green square, so don't panic, it's still on there if you need it. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's not actually physically green, if you see what I mean. I like the, um, the addition of putting, uh, integrating the um, power button and the power switch into the control dial. Um, so just, I like the, the kind of minimalism up there. As you know, I'm all about, all about minimalism. <laughs> if, if I could have just one touch screen and one button, I'd be happy. Um, well, I mean, that's the, that's the beauty of doing that, is that there's less buttons, there's yeah. less to think about. So you can spend more co time concentrating on your composition mm -hmm. and you know, um, interacting with your subject and this kind of thing, rather than worrying about what the buttons are doing and this kind of thing. One thing I really like that you were showing me before is um, no more um, pop-up flash when you don't want to, because it is, um, manual lift up flash yeah, so correct no more sudden um, springing up when uh, the camera thinks it's too dark yeah which will also help if you shoot in galleries and things like that it won't accidentally come up and fire off if you're you know places where you're not allowed to use oh, flash so yeah your pop up comes up unexpectedly <laughs> absolutely um, so yeah so you've got a manual pop-up flash there as well what's really nice about this one which I'm really pleased that we haven't taken off which I don't think is something that we should do is Wi-Fi Yes. So this still has Wi-Fi capability. And what apps does that connect to? So that connects to our Canon Connect app, which is the free app that you can download, and that gives you the ability to send images to social networking sites, or whatever you want to do, and also control the camera remotely. Yes, that's which, a big thing. A lot of people really liking that about uh, uh, other Canon, other models in the Canon series. Um, so glad to see that's still here. Yeah, that's a, yeah, a great thing to have, to have Wi-Fi on here. really light as well. Like it's really uh, comfortable, and it's just nice in the hand, I think. Uh, yeah. It's good to take away from that. A lot of people sometimes think that DSLRs are going to be too heavy. Um, but yeah, this and an Nifty 50, uh, the 50mm 1.8. It's a great street-style street photography camera, isn't it? But I mean, what, what I like about it, it really does feel like an EOS. 
Mm. The, d the danger is that if you're going for a, a camera or you're trying to bring in a camera lower in the lineup to what you're used to, that it could feel very plasticky, it could mm. feel very, and just not have a nice feel to it. But this is, the, I'm proud to have the EOS badge on this mm. because it does feel like a true EOS. And the great thing about it, if you start with a camera like this, if you then decide to move up to like an 80D or 7D or 5D or something like that, the jump isn't quite so great mm. because you've got similar types of lenses or the same lenses for that matter. Um, and also the buttons are in a very similar position. Yeah, I mean, as you're saying, like, it still feels like an EOS. I, I feel like I could close my eyes and still find all the buttons having known other, cam other Canon cameras. Um, which is just makes this a really nice little camera. I'm, looking, I'm excited. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. Um, let's just do a, a, a quick magic uh, switcheroo there. <laughs> no one would ever know. <laughs> the magic of editing. <laughs> so we have the 2000 here. Yep. Um, so this is the direct replacement for the 1300D. Correct. Yeah. So this. Uh, tell me about. Just talk. Talk me through. Yeah. Okay. So so um, the 1300D is um, that line of camera has been around for quite a while. You mm. know, obviously, you know, 1000, uh, 1100, and 1200, and so on. And the camera's got really, really strong. Got a really um, a really good feature set on here. Things like Wi-Fi, NFC, and this kind of thing. So we didn't want to change that too much um, yeah. because this is really well accepted for people starting out in photography. Really popular with beginners. Absolutely. Um, so the main thing that we've done with this is we've changed the most important part, which is the sensor. Mm -hmm. So we've brought the sensor right up to date with our new 24 million pixel sensor, yep. um, which will give people much more improved or much better image quality um, and also give better low light capability in this kind of thing. Um, so you've got a three inch screen on the back here as well. Yep. You've got um, Wi-Fi, you've also got NFC on here, which you don't have on the Yeah, um, that's, the that's a welcome addition um, uh, for smartphone users just for quick connecting and things like yeah, that. Yeah, if you use an Android device, I have to say it's a, um, it really is a, 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 an eye opener for me just being able to hold the two products together. Next thing you know, the app's running and you can control remotely and this kind of thing. It's a really great thing to be able to do. Um, you'll be pleased that all the colors are back on this one. Um, oh, it's, so, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's iconic. It's, it's, it's the green square. <laughs> yep, so the green square is actually green on this one, which is great. Um, we've got a few more buttons on here as well, one for operating the, the pop-up flash, as, mm -hmm. we, as we mentioned earlier. Um, and the buttons on the back, um, uh, you've got them in a very, very similar layout to what you've got on the 4000, but if anyone's used, like, if anyone's upgrading from like, yeah. 1000D or 1100D, they could jump onto this camera straight away and start using it. Yeah, straight away, all the buttons are are there um, where they are on the 4000 so this is a nice kind of step one step two or step one step up so both are Absolutely. good steps it's just whether you want to take that tentative step into photography if you want to take that slightly bigger step Absolutely. Um, so we're these are really for your beginner photographer that's right um, yeah uh, so yeah I think that's uh, anything else you want to tell me about them no I think that's I think that they just I mean, the great thing about choosing cameras like this is you're buying into a, a range of cameras and you're buying into the EOS here. Um, I mean, the lenses, I mean, we, the lens mount hasn't changed since, what, 1987. So there's so many lenses out there for you to choose from, yeah. um, both new and secondhand as well. Um, so buying into this type of camera will really help you get on your phot photography journey. And hopefully, well, that's what we want people to do. We want people to enjoy photography. And these are great ways to start out. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Dave. No problem. Um, you can get information on uh, both the 2000 and the 4000 uh, at jessops.com. And uh, if you also, if you don't want to go online, you can visit any one of our stores and see these cameras and get really get your hands on them. Uh, thank you so much, Dave. No problem. Um, it's been great to visit you here, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Yep, sure. And we'll see you again soon. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you on our next one.